Welcome! In this video, we're going to demo how to use Sandboxes and DevOps Center to manage and release changes securely and effectively at your organization. Sandboxes are a critical part of the development lifecycle. They're a copy of your live production environment that allow you to safely build and test changes before rolling them out to your users. You can use Sandboxes to isolate customization and development work from production environments, test changes against copies of your production data and users, test new Salesforce release features, or simply provide a training environment. It's important to use the right sandbox for your needs. Developer and Developer Pro sandboxes are for lightweight development and individual quality assurance, or QA testing. Partial copy sandboxes include a subset of data for things like realistic integration testing. Full sandboxes include a complete copy of your production data and metadata to test large datasets, perform user acceptance testing, or UAT, stage releases, and even train new users. For simple development, such as an individual admin or developer creating declarative solutions, you may only need to use a single sandbox. For example, you can add custom fields, or pick lists, or page layouts, or test the latest Salesforce release against your org. Complex development, such as a team of developers building complex code or integrations, requires a more robust sandbox management strategy as part of the development lifecycle. You may need to manage a team with multiple members and roles. Merge development from multiple individual development environments prior to production release. Establish version control or test changes against production data and users. Once you're ready to roll out changes, there are many ways to move them to production, including change sets, Metadata API, Salesforce CLI, and DevOps Center, which you can install and configure as a free managed package in your org. For maximum source control and better collaboration, we recommend managing your sandboxes in DevOps Center. Let's take a look at how to manage the sandbox development lifecycle in DevOps Center, from creating new projects all the way to promoting approved changes. On the DevOps Center homepage, click New Project in the upper right corner. In the Project Name field, enter a unique name. For example, Winter Release. Click Save. Next, let's create your project pipeline and connect your sandboxes. Underneath Release Environment, select Click to Create Pipeline. You can add one or more sandboxes to the project pipeline. Refresh sandboxes will need to be reconnected to DevOps Center. Scroll to the stage named Production, then select Connect Environment. In the Add Release Environment window, click Login. Select or enter your username and password for the environment. Click Login, then click Confirm. Optionally, you can scroll to the right to find or add your other sandboxes, like staging, for example. Again, click Connect Environment. Click Login. Select or enter the username and password for that environment. Click Login then click Confirm. Scroll back to the section named Staging and select Specify Branch. In the Branch Name field, type Staging, then click Save. A huge benefit of using DevOps Center is that it enhances collaboration and streamlines the promotion of changes between sandboxes for Salesforce developers. Let's fast forward through the process of adding two more sandboxes. One for UAT, and one for integration, and specifying branches for both. When finished connecting your sandboxes, select Add Development Environment. In the Environment Name field, enter a unique nickname. For example, Winter Dev Sandbox. Click Login. Select or enter your username and password for the environment. Click Login. And select Confirm. In the upper right corner, click Activate. Next, we'll start a work item, which teams use to track the progress of a task or objective, like enabling a user story or addressing a bug. From the Project menu, select the Work Items tab. Click the New Work Item button. In the Subject field, enter a subject name, for example, Date Time Controller. Click Save. 
A source control branch that is associated is created to track all the changes you make in your development environment. Select the work ID number that you just created. You can choose whether to work in DevOps Center or another external tool, such as Code Builder. Let's stay in DevOps Center by clicking the drop down, selecting a connected environment, and clicking Proceed. Select Pull Changes to pull them from the development environment so that you can see them before committing any changes to the repository for review. Scroll down the list of file names. DevOps Center has source tracking that automatically detects any changes you've made in your sandbox environment. Check the box for the DateTime controller file. In the comments box, enter a description of the changes you're committing. When finished, click Commit Changes. You'll receive a confirmation message that says, Commit Complete. When you commit changes, they're stored in the repository branch that was created when the work item moved to the in-progress stage. Click the Activity History tab to view the events for each work item. Then select the drop-down arrow at the far right for a historical view of all events and details for auditing, troubleshooting, and general visibility. If you're working with a team of developers, your dev environment may get out of sync with the source control repository. DevOps Center will notify you when your environment is out of date, and you'll have the option to sync it to ensure you're developing against the latest source of truth. To view whether or not environments are in sync, you can navigate to the Pipeline Environments tab. Once your changes are committed, click the Create Review button to create a GitHub or Bitbucket pull request in the background environment without requiring expertise in version control. After reviewing your work item, a team member can approve your request by switching the toggle to Ready to Promote status. You'll receive a confirmation message that says, Work Item Ready to Promote. Next, let's promote your changes and merge your pull request into the Source Control Repository. To do this, navigate to the Project menu and select the Pipeline tab. From the Stage tab, navigate to Approved Work Items. Check the Work Item ID. Then click Promote Selected to begin merging your pull requests and loading promotion options. In the Promotion Options window, review selections and click the Promote button. You'll receive a confirmation message that says, Promotion Successful. If promotion is successful, the DateTime Controller work item will move to the integration stage. Now that you know how to utilize sandboxes and work items in DevOps Center, you're well on your way to safely managing the development lifecycle at your organization. To learn more, be sure to check out our other videos. You can also search for topics in Salesforce Help or come join us on the trail at trailhead.salesforce.com. Thanks for watching.